All right, everybody. Welcome back. So today, today is kind of a special day. Now, I'm not going to say what it is, but today to me is a very special day. And uh, because of that, I really, really do believe that this is kind of a special knife. And um, for it being a special knife, this is a special video. Now that I'm done saying the word special, <laughs> let's get into it, everybody. Let's talk blades. That's what we're into. Today I got for you guys a Spyderco. I know I haven't done a Spyderco video in a while. I got another Spyderco I'm going to post on here a little bit. And I also got another uh, Bastinelli knife as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming up uh, pretty soon here. Um, I've been carrying this one around for the last couple of days. Um, I, I, I really enjoy this knife. I've been wanting this knife for a while. Hadn't pulled the trigger on it until uh, recently in a trade. Um, but that trade didn't go very well. Uh, I guess we didn't come on... We didn't agree to certain things, so I ended up having to buy this one instead of trading it. Which is fine. Uh, there were certain knives I wasn't ready to uh, let go of, so... You know, he's like, oh, well, if you're interested, I'm like, no, it's all right, man. I already bought one. He's like, what? Oh, damn it. So my my usual knife buddy that I trade cards with. Anyways, so here it is. Uh, unfortunately, it did come in this condition. I did not smash this box. It came to me like this from Amazon, um, which kind of sets me back a little bit. So here it is. As you can see, it says, uh, new Spyderco Harpy Folding K. Okay, and uh, yeah, there it is. Knife <laughs> with 2.75 inch hawk bill VG10 steel spider edge C08S. All right, so I had to make sure that that's what I got. Um, extremely strange. I don't know why they did that. I'll probably look at that later before I toss this box. I'm not going to keep it. Obviously, I don't keep the boxes. Uh, I will keep the knife. So as I opened it up, um, you get the knife. Uh, this is on the knife, these little protectors, um, the scale protectors, because you're getting uh, stainless steel. So uh, one on each side. I peeled those off, obviously. It came with a little Spartaco sticker, but that was it. It didn't come with any booklets or anything, which I thought was re really strange. I picked up the foam insert and there's nothing so which is really odd um i don't know why they did that but it did come in this uh this bubble wrap sleeve if you will so it works but it just kind of i don't know i just thought that, that was really strange so I don't know why that is. If anybody could throw me some ideas, maybe you can shed some light on why it was shipped like this. Other than the fact that people at Amazon are... I've heard horror stories of people not caring about their job, and it's just a big old mess. Um, but I still love Amazon. I'm obviously going to keep buying from them, uh, just not as frequently because I already have a person to go to for that. But if there's certain things I can't find, I obviously go to Amazon or I go to Blade HQ. So I'm going to put this off camera. I just wanted you guys to see that. That's kind of, you know, weird. Anyways, here's the knife. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I'm going to try and give you some background uh, as best as I can give it. Um, obviously, I know, I know a fair amount of this knife, but I've also heard some conflicting things about it. When I first saw this knife, somebody said it was a tactical-oriented knife, and uh, the person who corrected me said, no, it is not a tactical-oriented knife. It was actually a nautical-based knife. This knife was actually meant for people who go out to seas on ships. So this is a ship knife. This is a, a knife that you would take sailing with you. This is a sailor's knife. At least that's what I've been told. Uh, this is meant to be cutting uh, rigging, any type of rope, um, netting, nautical-based type cutting. This is what this is for. Um, this insert right here isn't just designed. This is actually a shackle key. If you don't know what a shackle is, and I'm not talking about, you know, the stuff that pirates use. <laughs> a shackle is this little hook thing with a, it's a screw-in pin that has a little, it's kind of like a, a tab that sticks out and this goes on that tab so you can loosen that shackle and it's just basically a 
it's like a nautical type uh, base tool. It's supposed to keep down um, like a certain type of uh, rope or netting or whatever, you know, the shackle is supposed to be meant to uh, to harness. And this is also supposed to be a drying port. So if there's any moisture that gets in the handle or on the blade and you can't wipe it off right away, the drying port is meant to uh, have it irrigate a little easier through the knife, which I think is a little silly because this knife is a hawkbill blade, so you're already going to get a little bit of that in there. But I guess that's, you know, it's a double function. It's what they're intended for, so that's really cool. Um, one thing that I've been told about this knife from people who have carried it, at least somebody who I know has been carrying it, says it, it works as a great last stitch self-defense knife. And you guys know me, I love self-defense knives. And this being a hawk build with a full serrated spidey edge knife, this is a fantastic way to go. I mean, it's not huge. It's not it's not meant to be a huge knife. This is meant to be a tool type knife, but I can get a full four finger grip on there and it feels comfortable. And because of its size and the shape of it, I'm not worried about grip too much. It's all there. It doesn't need to be overly grippy for it to, to have that necessary grip and application if you needed to use this in a pinch in self-defense. Um, also, it's a very small blade, so it comes in under 3 inches. I think it says 2.75 inch. So if anything, this is the kind of knife that can be legal to carry in a lot of places where you can't carry a knife that's over 3 inches. So for that, this would be great for that. If you're traveling you know, somewhere and you know that you are a little bit tight on uh, knife laws but you want to carry a knife for self-defense or just for EDC, this would be a great option for EDC and self-defense. So it's all packed in one, which I favor a lot. I like a knife that's well-rounded, and I think this is a great knife that could be well-rounded for any task, including self-defense, and this is fantastic for that. Um, and it's got four-way position clips, so that means that you can mount the clip anywhere you want. Boom, boom, boom. But my greatest suggestion to you, if you're trying to carry this knife deep carry, Keep it on its original uh, planted mount right here on the tip down carry only because I tried to carry it tip up and there's too much of this sticking out because of that lanyard hole, which I hope and pray that <laughs> Spyderco uh, phases these lanyard holes out. I, I'm not a huge fan of lanyards and I know I'm not speaking for everybody, <laughs> but there's a lot of people that agree with me that say, you know, lanyards are just kind of an old school type thing. I don't see lanyards being useful in, in any type of knife that has a pocket clip. Um, I, I just, it's just more to grab onto. Yeah. But that's, you know, I just don't see the use in it. I don't see the practicality of having a lanyard on something unless it doesn't have a pocket clip, you know, unless you're, you're fishing around for it in your pocket, then the lanyard comes in useful because then you got more to grab onto when you're trying to find the knife. Uh, but if it's sticking in your pocket, I just don't see the point in having a lanyard unless it's, you know, unless there's certain elements at play. I don't think every knife needs a lanyard hole. And it just seems like 95% of all Spartaco's knives have freaking lanyard holes. It's like, come on, dude. But then again, you know what? It's just personal preference of mine. I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm just saying, for me anyways, it's kind of annoying. Uh, I I want this to be gone. I just don't see any use for it. It would make this go up more so you can carry it deeper. And it would make more sense, especially for a smaller knife. You want to make sure it's as secure in the pocket as possible. You don't want to lose this thing. You really don't. And you're not going to. I'm not saying that you will. But I'm saying that it's just a little bit better uh, to phase out the lanyard hole, move up the tap up here so that way you can carry it any way you want to and still have it as deep in the pocket as humanly possible so it's just a little bit in my opinion more secure um this is a back lock design has the boyd detent right there so that's fantastic when you're bearing down on this knife it's not going to come undone for you uh there's no jimping anywhere and that's not an issue to me i don't think this knife necessarily needs it but it's nice. It really is. It's comfortable for the material and the handle. It does have a little bit of weight. We're going to get into the specs here in a little bit. I just want to, you know, put in my own personal thoughts before we get into all that. I really enjoy this knife, and I don't normally carry knives tip down. I prefer tip up because it's just better. When I pull it out the pocket, it's just my preference that I can get to the opening mechanism faster. But this one is actually neutral. 
I've noticed that carrying it tip up or tip down, I can still get to the lanyard, or not the lanyard, <laughs> the thumb hole just the same because it's practically almost in the middle. So I can do that either way and still be confident in it. What I catch myself doing is when it's tipped down, I always go for the, the spidey hole. And when I get it out the pocket, I, I do a little spidey drop, I think it's what it's called, where I hold the, the hole and I just flick the handle uh, outward and it pops open and it just rests and it because it just swings into my grip I can actually use this knife either holding it like this or just going down and holding it like so it's a fantastic knife I really do enjoy this harpy so much I actually didn't think I was going to like it as much I really do like it I think this is a great EDC it's ideal it's not overly flashy to where you want to baby it but it's not to the point where you think like you shouldn't use it you know what i mean it's just it's perfect it's got the right balance in my opinion um the 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 thing is though you can't take it apart uh there are no screws here other than the pocket screws the pocket clip screws excuse me you can't take it apart you can't do anything with it um you can't tighten the pivot obviously it's fixed this whole entire thing is just one solid piece you can't you know uh, customize it in any way it's just there so that's the only drawback i have is that you can't take it apart and you can't you know touch up the pivot if you want to but you know if that's not a problem to you and you enjoy this knife for what it is then enjoy it i think i'll enjoy this knife for a very long time the back lock is nice and sturdy there's no blade play forward side to side backward nothing it's it's a very very sturdy and, and Loctited, <laughs> I don't know if I'm wording this right, but it's just fantastic. You got to get this in the hand in order to really understand what I'm talking about. And what's really cool about this knife is that this knife was featured in the Hannibal movie. Um, Hannibal Lecter requested the Harpy knife in its full serrations. Um, and there's a movie scene, it's a very short clip, where he actually pulls this knife out and you can actually see it. And if Hannibal Lecter says that this is a good knife <laughs> for his for his liking, then it's got to be a, a good knife for self-defense or other defenses. Anyways, <laughs> fantastic knife. This Harpy knife is just one of the best. Um, in my opinion, Spyderco hit a home run on this knife. I really do enjoy it. When it sits in the pocket, either way, tip up or tip down, it's nice and comfortable. My hand, when I'm going in the pocket, I'm not feeling anything, it's just I'm either feeling the handle or the blade, but it's comfortable. It's not uncomfortable to where you have to worry about it popping open or or hitting a thumb stud or hitting a uh, a flipper. It's it you're it's it's great. It's fantastic for what it is. Um I I really don't have anything bad to say about this knife other than the fact that you cannot take it apart. So let's go ahead and get into the specs now that I've said my part. Um, so yeah, fantastic knife. I will carry this and see how well. So it comes in at a whopping 3.68 ounces. That's because it's all full metal. So just keep that in mind, but it's still under four ounces. So that's great. Nice and lightweight. Get into the measurements of it. So the full measurement, because it's at a weird angle, comes in at six and a half, a little bit over six and five eighths inches total. Ah, I just felt that on my hand. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, it looks like it wants to be three inches, but it's not. Still, still great. So if you look at that, the blade, two and three fourths, two and seven eighths, give or take. It's fantastic. And for the handle part, it's under four inches. So you're looking at uh, three and seven eighths, give or take three and three fourths, three and seven eighths, almost four inches. And then it's nice and slim. So you don't hear me say that too often. It's a slim piece to keep in your pocket. So 2.7 on the blade and on the handle you are looking at, and I'm clipping onto the pocket clip. Oh, add the pocket clip, why not? 8.1, because I'm adding the pocket clip, and without the pocket clip you're looking at a 7.0. So, all right. 
nice and slim, goes in and out of the pocket really well because of its material and because of the fact that the handle scales are nice and they're 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 not overly grippy, but the the shape alone is grip enough. So in and out of the pocket really nicely. Um, it does have a chrome finish, so expect there to be a light reflection if that is something that you're considering. Um, if people look for it, they will see it. They will see the fact that you're carrying a knife. They will see the fact that you're carrying a Spyderco because that's a prominent stamp. So if that at all matters to you, then take that into consideration. Other than that, it's a fantastic knife. It is. It really is. The screws are a bit small, so customizing your pocket clip, if you're trying to make like a deep carry pocket clip or anything like that, just take in consideration you might need slightly uh, slightly longer screws. And the price tag on this is a hundred and it's like one twenty, one thirty ish, somewhere around there. Um, this particular blade is something that isn't going to be cheap for those of you who are budget conscious. So. They do have a cheaper version in, uh, I think it's H1 Steel, and it's the Pacific Salt, blah, 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 I can't remember what the name of it, uh, Spyrico Pacific Salt, ah, man, I can't think of the name, but it's got a plastic handle, and uh, the blade on the Pacific Salt is actually bigger, it's it's a lot wider, so this one's slim, This one, the, the Pacific Salt has a more raised spine, I didn't want that because it's a little bit more rounded, this is perfect as the size is in the pocket and outside of the pocket so it's it's fantastic i really do like it and uh i don't know i just even though it's frn and i know spartaco does a great job with their their plastic handles i'm not a huge fan of plastic handles by far i think that that interest has fallen off of my off of my list of what i like about a folding knife um plastic handles are just not my thing i don't like it but if there's no way around it then there's no way around it you know if i can customize it then i would change out the pocket or the the handle scales um i've done it before but it's a hit and miss really you you go to somebody you hope that their company does it but every now and again they're kind of slightly off or the knife feels thicker or wider or just doesn't doesn't have the same feel as it would when it came out of the box uh, as far as like the slimness or the bulkiness of it depending on how you look at it so it's a very touchy touchy concept when it comes to uh, changing customizing your knife because you simply just don't want the plastic on there um, now a lot of people tell me dude plastic is plastic and I do agree plastic is plastic um, but if they do it right then it's acceptable you know it's it's something that you you know, it's either take it or leave it. I, I get it. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. This knife, having the stainless steel handle scales on this thing is just fantastic. It, it feels good in the hand regardless, you know, and this pocket clip doesn't create a hot spot at all. If anything, it creates more of a handle. It feels like it fills the hand just a little bit more, but in, in a good way. Um, because this thing is so small and so slim, having that without the pocket clip would probably feel like you're pinching onto a smaller material. But having this on there actually helps with the grip of the handle. Uh, feeling like it's more full, I guess, would be the, the better definition. Um, carrying this for self-defense as is, uh, this would be a great thing to carry around for everything every task you're cutting open packages you're cutting out you know you're you bought something you're cutting off a of zip ties whatever it is i think this knife will be great for all of those things including a last stitch you know i'm cornered this guy's got a weapon i better pull out mine and just hope that i don't have to use it and hope 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 that it'll save my life i think this would be great um what i'd like to do is i'd like to cut meat with this with these types of knives later on my channel and uh, just show you guys the devastation of what a hawkbill blade can do including hawkbill blades with serrations not only does it cut but it rips and tears whatever surface it comes across and it's just a fantastic self-defense blade regardless of what it's intended for having this kind of knife can be a very liable tool in a last ditch self-defense situation so i i know that i've seen so many videos i've even seen what this can do to regular 
material that is not flesh related and just trying to compare the two in my mind I'm sitting there thinking there's no way that you know this is going to be something that anybody can take lightly so just keep that in mind when you purchase this knife if you're looking for something uh this covers all of those aspects in my opinion so anyways Spyderco Harpy fantastic knife i really do enjoy this knife so so much so if you guys like this video go ahead and slash that like button stab that subscribe slice that bell icon so you guys are notified anytime that i post new stuff and in these craziest of times everybody please be kind be safe carry responsibly and i will see you all awesome people in the next video